Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this is Jupiter. In today's video we actually are going to be taking at a planet that we found relatively far away from us and actually relatively long time ago, but haven't really talked about in the past decade or so. And that particular planet is one of the largest, if not the largest, by radius planets we've discovered so far, known as GQ Lupi. Let's learn more about it and welcome to What The Math. So, at a distance of about 500 light years from us, lies a relatively young and relatively beautiful star that's a little bit less massive than our own uh, Sun. If you actually want to find it in um, Space Engine, you have to look up for a star known as GQ Lupi that's located right there somewhere. Now it's currently listed as a uh, binary star, even though technically it's not really a binary star because the second object here is most likely a very massive and very very large planet. This is at a distance of 453 light years from us and we're going to zoom to that star just to take a look at it. And the planet you're about to see is actually one of the weirdest planets you'll discover in Space Engine for a reason that you're about to see. Now, before we talk more about the planet, let's actually discuss the star a little bit. It's only about 2 million years old. It's actually um, a relatively young star when it comes to, you know, star age, because our own sun is like 4.5 to 5 billion years old. So this particular star is actually something that hasn't really been around for very long and was very likely actually just um, sort of is creating its planet still, and a lot of the things around here are probably relatively brand new, including, of course, the planet we're about to see. Now, at a distance of about 1,200 astronomical units, which is actually really, really far away, there is that planet that we're about to, to go to. And you can actually discover this planet by just clicking on this. Um, this planet is very interesting. It's very, very unusual, and here is why. Oh, and by the way, 1200 astronomical units is pretty much um, about 40 times farther away than essentially uh, Pluto from the Sun. So that's really, really far. But anyway, so here is what this planet looks like, and here is why it's kind of strange. And this is GQ Lupi B. Notice how it's not really round, it's like egg shaped or potato shaped. And as you can probably guess, it's because it's currently spinning really, really, really fast. Now, in reality, we don't really know if this particular planet is shaped this way, but in Space Engine it is, and that makes it even bigger uh, than uh, we would imagine it is in real life. So, we currently think that this particular planet is actually um, the biggest by radius out there. And that's not including the fact that in this game it's actually simulated to be even bigger. But what we do know about this particular planet is that, uh, first of all, it's actually relatively warm here. We think that the temperature on the surface um, is basically similar to a temperature on a typical brown dwarf. Um, so about 2500 degrees. That's, that's pretty hot. That's basically... Uh, the temperature where most things will kind of melt. Now, because this is a very massive planet, um, we also think that maybe, just maybe, this would actually classify as a brown dwarf. But at the same time, um, because it's created around the star, it's probably actually a planet. It's a planetary body that is just tremendously, tremendously massive and tremendously big. Let's actually see if I can maybe come closer to it, just to kind of see what this egg looks like if you actually land on its surface. Although chances are there's really no surface except for maybe some upper atmosphere here. Uh, now we actually discovered this object really long time ago. This was one of the first planets, exoplanets, discovered by what's known as uh, direct uh, optical observation. In other words, we were just kind of looking at things and then we saw this planet. And this was back in 2005. This is um, like, what, a decade now? And we basically haven't really learned anything new about this object, mostly because we don't really see it very well anymore. 
Yeah, and essentially this is kind of what the upper atmosphere here looks like. There's no ground, unfortunately. And if you actually wanted to look at the star that we saw before, it is right there, super tiny. It's basically barely giving off any light to us. So most of the heat on this particular object is actually from within. It's sort of heating itself up through various things like fusing uh, deuterium and such. So a very unusual, very strange, very, very, very large planet. And just to show you how big it is, we're going to go into Universe Sandbox and we're going to place this next to our planet Earth. Now here we are in our own solar system. There's the Sun, there's Jupiter. And before I place this um, in our solar system next to our planet Earth, let's actually compare uh, GQ Lupi B to our own Jupiter. So from the observation in back in 2005, we discovered that this particular object was about three times the radius of Jupiter. Essentially, it's three times bigger in size. Mass, we don't really know, but size-wise, it is really, really big. This is how big it is. And that's ridiculously large. This is actually something that we didn't expect from such an object at such far away distance, because we haven't really seen that many unusual objects at such a distance from the parent star. Here is what it's like in comparison to our own sun. It's actually... Uh, yeah, it is smaller, it is less massive, but it's comparable. It's it's about three times smaller than our sun. Now, if we replace this next to Earth, it's going to look a little bit scarier. Mostly because Earth is going to be completely, completely overshadowed by this tremendous giant. And so what we're going to do now is we're just going to place it right here next to Earth and then see what happens. Uh, we're actually going to... I'm going to place this in orbit around the sun. And I, I want to see if, I can, if we can actually make it, make it kind of move around and disturb our solar system a little bit. Now notice how as soon as I place it, it also gets a tremendously high temperature of about 2,200 degrees Celsius. And it's actually enough for it to currently even warm up our planet Earth to uh, pretty toasty conditions. Now, I don't really know if it's going to do it, because I think in this particular game, um, even hot planets don't usually produce enough radiation, but in real life, it would have actually warmed up pretty quickly. And look at that, it's almost instantly attracting our planet Earth, and is most likely going to completely swallow it, basically disintegrating our planet in essentially minutes. And... Here we go. We're going to slow down time a little bit and watch our planet being disintegrated by this gigantic, massive uh, gas giant. And here we go. It's just basically swallowed it. Now, if I leave this planet orbit in here, it will most likely disturb all of the other orbits as well. And you'll notice that because of its mass, pretty much every planet in our solar system is going to get um, shifted around and most likely attracted and um, disturbed and dislodged by uh, GQ Lupi B. Vesta is already been affected by it, um, and all of these other planets will most likely shift their orbits. So you can see that because of its size and because of its mass, pretty much everything starts being completely reshuffled around. And with time, it's very likely that, um, oh yeah, Mars has now become or temporarily has become a moon of GQ Pi B. Uh, but yeah, if you were to wait long enough, you would most likely um, either kick everything out of our solar system, or a lot of things will get kicked out of the solar system, or it would create a completely new balance, with some of the planets acquiring a completely new sort of orbit, and create a very new sort of um, pattern of orbits, where some things will probably end up being swallowed by the sun or by GQ Lupi, or some things will probably end up being kicked out of the solar system. But this is how powerful, in terms of the mass, and I guess in terms of just the gravitational effects, this planet is. And even Jupiter and Saturn are not immune from it, because Jupiter is not as massive as GQ Lupi. This is about, in this particular simulation, 21 masses of Jupiter. So, that's kind of all we know about this particular planet. We know it's large, we know it's massive, and we know that this is currently the record holder for the biggest radius of an exoplanet, or any planet really, out there in our galaxy. I'm sure one day we'll discover more, but for now, that's really it.
So we're gonna stop this here. I'm gonna run the simulation. We'll see what happens to all the planets as the years go by. And if you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed yet, do click the subscribe button because there's so many more videos coming in the future. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and space out. And as always, bye-bye.